How's it going, everybody? We are back, and we brought in uh, Guy Fieri's favorite band, Flavor Town Mafia. Woo! Oh Hello. yeah, a uh, nice uh, punk ska <laughs> okay. band. I think that's a fair. I think that's fair to say. Yeah, no, punk ska totally. locals. We've got we've got horns. They've got classic pop punk sounds. I don't know if pop punk's the right. No, we, we do. do. We, we do. Yeah. We got some pop punk. Yeah, we got some pop punk. We got some hardcore influences. Uh, we've got a single up on Spotify, Bandcamp, uh, all the major mm-hmm. uh, digital outlooks there. So you can catch that now. We'll probably get that added to our Spotify playlist at the end of the day, too. So right. you can Thank catch you. that on the Omaha Locals as well. Thanks for coming in. How's it going? Uh, it's going well. I'm really yeah. happy to be here. Time. Awake. Time. Just got off work. I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> so um, obviously the, the question is, is where the name came from. That's, that's got to be the, the number one question on my mind. Honestly, we were throwing out like a thousand band names and we couldn't come up with anything. And I, I, I don't know. I, was it Emma that did it? Or I, it was Carol. Carol? Yeah, Carol? Carol did it? Carol, that's our saxophone player. Okay. Uh, she couldn't be she here right now. She threw out the name. Yeah, she's kind of sick today. But she threw out the name. Uh, we were uh, we were going by Shot by Vincent. But then she's uh, she threw out that name and we're like, oh. Yeah. Frick. <laughs> Fire truck. Uh, she brought it out to us, and uh, it was it was amazing. And we decided to change our name to that. I think you made it an actual two minutes in before the first one got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I'm so sorry. New record. Oh, high five him! Beep. Don't make it awkward. High five him. Or don't. Yeah, correct. Cool. cool. You cool. want to make the sensor noise for me? Yup. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna cut that in. <laughs> That's more work Word. for and you. Until okay. this, and until this point in the video, nobody's gonna know where that sound bite came from. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be really confusing for everybody involved. So, uh, I mean, the, the the name of the band obviously like that's going to that's going to put like a theme in somebody's head as soon as they hear it. And I know we've I know there's photos of you guys out there. There is a Guy Fieri uh, mascot if you want to call him that running around. Like is that is that one of you guys? Or is that a friend? It's a friend of ours. We call him the Flavor Lord. <laughs> All praise Flavor Perfect. Lord. Yeah. We all uh, support him. We pray to him every practice. <laughs> it's a buddy of ours named Brad Kaufman. Comes to a lot of our shows and supports us. He's a pretty good guy. Mm-hmm. So who all have we got in the lineup? But I know we've got you three here, but we've we've got some we've got some backstagers as well. Oh well, we, hiding. We got Tuna Tim right there. He plays bass. Hello. And then there's Bean. He plays guitar. And then there's Danny. She does other things sometimes. And then, like we it's said a trumpet. before, trumpet. Like we said before, I <laughs> trumpet first, <laughs> trumpet first, and then other I, things later. And Carol, our saxophonist, and she is not here at the moment. Yeah. And then we've got trombone, we've got drums and guitar lead vocals. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, so how how'd you guys get formed up? How like I mean, forming a forming a small band is tough enough, but getting a group with seven people, anything over five, is, <laughs> yeah. is going to be a pain. So actually, Danny got a hold of me one time. Like she's that's the girlfriend of like one of my best friends and we used to be in a band together way back when, but anyway, um, she ended up contacting me and was just like, Hey, let's start a ska band. And I was like, what do you do? And she was just like, I play trumpet. And I was like, okay, cool. Well then I contacted Nick and I was just like, yo, you down to drum for a ska band? And he was like, I, yeah, we've been, we we were talking about it for like a year before it actually became a thing. And then we, uh, yeah, then we got mm -hmm. bean and I was like, Hey dude, you down to play some ska? And he was just like, yeah, not gonna lie, dude, you were terrible. Yeah, he kind of sucked. <laughs> you were terrible. I'm, hey, you're doing good though. That's much, why you're not much, on camera. Much, much better better now. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were looking then, for a bassist, and we tried one kid out, and he was like, "Yeah, I'm really into it." And he never showed up for one up. practice, and then he never mm-hmm. messaged us again. Just ghosted. Yeah, yeah straight which, ghosted. Which is which is fine because now we have Tim. Dude, he's and, and he's killer. From a Facebook. From a Facebook ad. Yeah, from a Emma, Facebook Emma ad. Sure keep your hands off that. And then. Posted on uh, Snapchat. S- Snapchat is that how we got yep. you? Yep. I, I posted on Snapchat looking for horn players yep. for a ska band, and he hit me up, yep. and uh, mm-hmm. we brought him in. And I used to work with Carol at Whole Foods, and she was just like, "Hey, I play saxophone sometimes." <laughs> and I was like, "All right, you're on." <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> and uh, now recording the single, like, I mean, obviously, I'm not. I, I would hope that there isn't like sampled horns in there or anything like that. You nope. guys do the, the the whole recording yep. yourselves. Yep. Yep. Where was that at? Uh, Anytime Studios. Uh, it's my also my dad's studio, and he's recorded a lot of local bands in the area. Oh, so you cheated? Uh, yeah. No, we used our, <laughs> we used our resources yeah. very yeah. well. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. But yeah, uh, he, we've heard we've I've heard we've had a few bands in here that have had that have had stuff with him. I think About Face did their first EP with them. And Shitty it's yeah, yeah Shitty it's definitely another one. The last album I believe was. Uh, recorded by them and everything. 
so it's pretty rad that uh, he hooks us up with some good recordings and uh, you know we we compensate him for the work that he does for us. But we're excited to uh, record our other three songs to release with our single as an EP, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we'll be going back soon to start recording a full length album. Yep. When, when, roughly when are you thinking like you're we're going to be looking at an EP? Uh, listening to an EP, the, rather. The, the EP, we actually are going to go finish recording on Saturday. Everything oh, okay. will be done, and then we're going to go mix and master. After that, it's up on the all mm-hmm. the platforms. Yep. yep. It'll yeah. happen when it happens. So probably by like yeah, the end once, of April. Once we get it done, you guys will know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Just well, we're, we, we've been working really hard on it, and yeah. it's you know getting people together, seven of us. That's yeah, really hard with all of us. Yeah. Definitely. But I think once we uh, once we get it out there, it'll really show people like what we're capable of and what's about to come from us as a band, especially really from excited. Omaha ska. Yeah, definitely for one of the few ska bands around here. I was gonna say there's not a huge, uh, not even a huge punk scene around here anymore. Like not it's kind of it's kind of it's kind of leveled out. I think I think Liar Wire is a standout that sticks in my mind right away. But they're yeah, not, they're pretty they're good not, guys. They're not ska yeah. band, but I I always think of like when it comes to like punk bands, you know, like. RAF, Cordial Spew, Shitty It's bands mm-hmm. like that. Like those are the bands that usually stick in my head because those are the bands that have been around the longest. Yeah, and they they play a lot. Yeah. Very often. Which is really cool. But yeah, as you're saying, Liarwire, they're really good guys. They're all pretty young and I'm family pretty, too. Yeah. I'm really <laughs> I'm really happy to see them see them go where they're going. They're really they're freaking good at what they're doing. So would they be on like the lineup for tour for you guys coming up? Like would they uh, our tour kickoff I don't even remember who's all on that. I um, think it's, I think Bombs Blast, Mad Dog. I feel like and we the, regulation. the regulation and the regulation, yes. okay. regulate uh, yeah. regulations like an indie rock band. I uh, played with them at the Slowdown. They're all really great guys, and their their music is amazing. Mitch is the biggest sweetheart ever. <laughs> yeah, one of the nicest guys that I've met, definitely. Right. So, how long roughly have you guys been in the scene? Like, like when did you guys come together? How long have you been playing? Now, now, as the full band together, like how long okay. have you guys been, been working? Uh, we uh, since all... last October. Yeah, September. <laughs> September. <laughs> Close enough. And we all kind of like the seven of us solidified around September, October, and we mm-hmm. played our first show last December. So we are pretty new. Yeah. Ish. I mean, and you guys have been, you guys have been hitting it pretty hard too. Yeah. yeah. And, I mean, you're, all about that. The, the social media side, you're already. Well, it's jumping up there pretty good for a band who's as fresh as you guys are. Right, and it's 2019. Like, it's one of those things where people's brains move so fast. Like, if you're not on it, yeah, people you're gonna get yeah, forgotten. Absolutely. And like, it's it's unfortunate, but that's just the way it goes. I um, oh, go ahead. Uh, we do. We post a lot of Guy Fieri memes and ska memes. <laughs> I mean, and it does we help. Have to. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're his band. So. Yeah. <laughs> He brought us together. Yes. Do you guys tweet at him? Like, have you gotten a response out of him or anything? That's Not actually yet. a really good idea. I mean, you got to get you got to get his attention to someone. When we're done we'll with help this, out, we're going to help out with that. We're going to start that movement. We're going to we're going to tweet at Guy Fieri to actually acknowledge the existence of Flavortown Mafia. Uh, yeah, I would probably die if he did that. I'd be so happy. Whether or not he like approves of a mafia taking over his his town is. I mean, yeah. the concept of it, at least. We're a friendly mafia. Yeah. yeah, we're all about good times and ska music, so. Your friendly neighborhood like who, mafia. Who doesn't friendly like ska music? Mafia. We figure either he'll be really into it or he'll just sue us, and either way, that's pu- we'll publicity. Happy. I mean, I think I think him suing you would probably be, like, a pretty huge yeah. pretty huge bump. I mean, that's shining be, a spotlight on it. That'd be really cool. Get an art- <laughs> article by Alternative Press. Those are those, like... Local band gets sued by a guy. Fieri. You can settle it out of court. It was like, we'll call it Flavor. We'll <laughs> it. Flavor Town Mafia. We'll spell yeah. it with the O U. Flavor. Yeah. Flavor. Flavor. Well, Mafia. then Flavor Flavor will sue <laughs> us. <laughs> That'd be it's even cooler. <laughs> Flavor Flavor wouldn't carry. He'd be into it. He probably yeah. wouldn't even uh, figure it out. Like, what's your guys' name? I'm like, Flavor Town Mafia. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not wearing a clock, I think you're. I think mm-hmm. you're clear on clock. Oh right, shit! Guys. We should get Guy clock Fieri t-shirts. with a clock. Dude. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. We should wear digital clocks instead. Hey, I hope you guys are keeping notes over there. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that should be bookmarked. <laughs> yeah. Well, not everyone has access to the Twitter. I don't we even know what Disney. that is. Dude. I've never used a Twitter before. I thought it was Carol. Oh. Oh, it's Danny. Danny. Our trumpet player. Daniel. You better start. Every time we post, you better uh, tweet at Guy Fieri. 
Hard to game grumps. I was going to say, if uh, Terry Crews is listening, he's uh, guest listed on every show we play. Yes. Ever. Forever. Mm-hmm. Terry, We love Terry Crews. Yeah. Who, who else is on that guest list? Just Big him? Guy, Guy Fieri. Fieri. Yeah. Well, Cruz. Guy Fieri is a given. Yeah. We um, had someone else. Kevin Hart? I don't think Kevin Hart. No? Maybe maybe Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. That'd be cool. Ellen, straight up. Danny's mom. Danny's mom is on every guest <laughs> list. <laughs> if the mom's not on the guest list, you've got bigger problems. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's I mean, you got it. seven people. I mean, if you guys have parents on the guest list, you got a big crowd. Hologram yeah. Tupac is on there, too. Hologram <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right, hit us, hit us with those real questions. <laughs> On the Graham Tupac. So um, now beyond the, you guys are recording an EP, you're going to be recording a full-length album right after that. What else is kind of on the horizon for you guys? Besides, like you've got the tour kickoff. Where, mm-hmm. where are you going? Uh, so far we have Kansas, somewhere in between there, Ohio, New York, uh, Ch- Chicago, Chicago, Detroit, Michigan, yeah, how, over how long of a period of time? Ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Oh yeah. man, you're gonna be hitting it hard. Too. Well, yeah, and yeah. I just First I just four spent like thirteen thousand dollars on a van, so we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, we got the gear, we got the cases, we got the van, we got the people, and we got the motive, and we're ready to hit it hard. So yeah, so in a matter of a few months, uh, you guys have picked up a tour van, uh, recorded a single. You've got an EP coming around the corner, and a tour, uh, a ten day tour over. A good, a pretty much huge chunk of the Midwest and mm. East Coast. East Coast, yeah. Now that you say it's in a few, like, just in a few months we did all that, I feel very accomplished. <laughs> Thank you. I was going to say, I'm not trying to blow your head up at all or anything, no, like that, but yeah, that's yeah, actually really it's, impressive It's been timeline. exploding every day. Yeah. But, <laughs> I, yeah, I agree. Thank you. Well, now that it, now that it's in perspective, like, how does it make you feel? Is, are the nerves starting to set in now? Like, uh, oh, crap, we've only been doing this for a few months. Yeah. Only three entirely. of us have been on tour. I've yeah. been on tour. Us, Alex it's and... been oh no yeah Bean's been on tour I was on tour with my last band and it was bad but <laughs> <laughs> I think the, the stuff that goes on on a tour behind the scenes is is never I don't think it's ever glorious or anything like that I mean it's a no. lot of work like you're you're, you're going to work yeah you're driving like yeah, every it's day is work every mm-hmm. day you're driving multiple hours mm-hmm. you know it's you're crammed in a van with in this case six, six other, other people, people mm-hmm. who smell bad <laughs> You know, on top of the fact that not everyone has the same diet, so their bodily functions smell a lot different. <laughs> I'm excited. Mine especially. Yeah. I was gonna say there's a, there's I don't know who said it, but there was always somebody who said you never never move in with your friends. Uh, and whenever a band goes on tour, you're essentially forcing yourself to live with those people mm-hmm. over the course of ten days. So, is there uh, is there something that sticks out right away that's gonna be like the number one like issue? Uh, I, I I cannot believe that we have to say this, but you can't do this. While we're on tour, <laughs> probably so Earl talking about Danny's mom. <laughs> but I was she loves that. me. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> I think everyone is pretty good with each other. We've never had any problems. We've never been angry or mad at each other. So I think it's going to be a, a really good time for all uh, of us. Yeah, and we all have a good idea of what everyone's boundaries are, as far as yeah. you know, personal space. Well, yeah, space and, like, issues. talking about stuff. And yeah. well, I, I mean, stuff. seven people in a van, that's personal space is gone. Well, yeah, yeah, pretty like, much. Uh, I mean, are there, I mean, it is, it's April 1st today, uh, which <laughs> I should mention. Are, are, there, are there pranksters in the group? Oh, boy. Like, is that going to be a thing that you guys are going to be dealing with? It'll, it'll happen. I'd say yeah. Earl is yeah. pretty uh, spontaneous with ideas, so mm-hmm. we're, we're waiting to see what's going to happen from him. You guys jumped out of a box when I got the <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was trying to do it naked, but I couldn't get my pants yeah, off. In we, time. Uh, I found this big box, and we we're like, you know, let's get in and surprise our bass player, and it didn't work. We were but playing. it'll happen next time. We're planning sure. on seeing how many people we could fit in there, so maybe we could all just come out of the box on stage, like, but we can only air. fit like three people in there. So, <laughs> I mean, are we talking with instruments? Mm. Are you want to I jump wish. right out of that box and start playing right away? Uh, that's a good be, idea. That'd be, really cool. that'd be a show. Multiple boxes. I think the key, oh, yeah. there you go. I think the key here is multiple boxes. You mm-hmm. three per box, so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're planning it out. Yeah. I like it. You don't need that stage thing where you can like 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 eject out of the stage or anything. Right? You guys just need boxes. <laughs> yeah. Like clown boxes. Yeah. Clown boxes. You got three boxes. Three boxes. Flavor, town, mafia. Uh, Boom. Okay. Solid. Dude, you want to be your production manager? Yeah. <laughs> got you. <laughs> I got you. Okay. We're hiring. I'll take We're... some photos. Okay. And then uh, leave. Beautiful. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, when it comes to touring, though, one of the biggest things is 
how you eat. You gotta like treat your body really well, especially mm-hmm. like it's ten days. I've I've been doing I've been touring for ten years, so it's just like you know you figure out what you can eat, what you shouldn't eat. Burger King, don't don't eat just don't eat Burger King. Don't, don't eat, eat that garbage. I think, okay. I think garbage. dollar menu or fast food in general is a good like rule of thumb to try and stay away from as much yeah. as you can. Yeah, I mean definitely. you're limited, of course. Like it's not always an option to avoid that, but yeah. I mean there's there's gas stations, there's grocery stores. Get I'll, Get I'll those show you guys how to make. I'll show you guys how to make tour burritos. They're really good. Peanut mm-hmm. butter. You guys doing the, like the portable grill? Like you're you're almost you almost bring like camping equipment essentially with you. Just kind of. I want to do a little bit of cooking. I definitely I wanted to bring a sleeping on. bag, or not a sleeping bag, but a, a tent, so we mm-hmm. can pitch a tent somewhere and camp out. I mean, you guys are doing it in the summer. I mean, like North America, like Northern, yeah. actual Northern America, not North America, the continent, but. Like Northern America and East Next Coast. Time. I mean, temperature should be pretty good to do. Like, yeah. like stop at some campsites. I mean, and it's mm-hmm. skip, yeah, it skip be, sleeping in the van. And yeah. it shouldn't be too hot because it's still early summer. But yeah. if it's really hot, I'm I need that AC. I Beat, can't sleep in the heat. Beat Seekers have a really good uh, camp out tour story. We should, we should talk about that some other time. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> say, um, we're actually we're actually running out of time, so uh, we'll have to we'll have to jump in on that. But. Uh, uh, I appreciate you guys coming in. Yeah, uh, once again, uh, Flavor Town Mafia, Guy Fieri's favorite band. Be sure to at Guy Fieri if you talk about these guys whatsoever. Uh, you've also got a couple shows coming up, uh, <laughs> specifically one this month on the 18th. You mm-hmm. guys are playing at Lookout. Yep. Yep. Care to elaborate? Yep. yep. No. <laughs> uh, it's a hip hop show. We're playing with a, a bunch of our friends that asked us to come on to play. Uh, it's kind of out of our element, but we're looking really forward to playing with all these guys and just, you know, Entering a new scene of people that have probably never heard us before or ever, yeah. you know. Go check out Cold yeah. Classic. Yeah, mm-hmm. Cold Classic, definitely. Yeah. So um, before we wrap up, um, as we said earlier, Ska is kind of not all there just yet. We're not, we're not quite at that point. Uh, how, do, how do you get Ska up and big in Omaha? Like what's memes. The, what's the game plan? Memes. memes. Yes. Nobody cares about anything except for memes. Therefore, if you put memes out there, more people are bound to like, like okay, what is this about? What are these scay memes? We are <laughs> sk-a. Sk-a. Sk-a meme. We are the meme kings. And on top of that, you know, from a musical uh, musical perspective, I um, we try to bring in elements from a lot of different music. Like our single, you'll find it starts with some chip tunes. I made those, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and a lot of people have been attracted to that. Um, there's a few other. Like, we got some thrash elements. We're looking to bring in some two-tone reggae. Traditional ska. Mm-hmm. So change it up and bring on the memes. Exactly. Yep. All change it up that. and bring on the memes. Uh, if you want to start a ska band, get it going, because these guys are going to need opening acts. Yeah, yes, need, They're going to need mid-slots. Yeah. We're, we're uh, getting there, yeah. Good luck on the tour. Uh, we'll definitely see you guys again before uh, you guys jump out on that, and uh, we'll probably catch you at that show at Lookout on the that 18th. That would be amazing. So awesome. jump on out to that. I'm Seth. This is Spotlight Omaha. Thank you, Flavortown Mafia, for coming in here. At Guy Fieri, hashtag Guy Fieri. Everything everything Guy Fieri. Everything Guy Fieri. (laughs) Cool. We got six. Are we getting on them or what? Hey, quick kills, guys. You let's sign up. All right. Who wants to look at my butt? (laughs) Who's going to find a way to do it? I think David's going to be on top, top. Guys, I don't know if I can get up here. No! (laughs) Oh, yes! There we go. My butt, sorry. (laughs) Move your leg to the left. There you go. Nick, is that what you feel like all the time? Uh, Earl just cracks my back, which is great. I'm going to assist. I can't. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> take the dive. That's <laughs> oh. <laughs> <Best> where. <laughs> which which dive are you talking Who's about? A diner me? or a dive? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an airplane. <laughs> All about the taste train. I'm not a train though. Yes, you are now. <laughs> it's it's about to be a train. <laughs> All right, that worked out great. <laughs> <Sweet>. <laughs> Thank you.